From a typesetting system that is as versatile as LaTeX, but as simple as Markdown, to a cozy game that was developed in just 4 days, in this video, we go over 5 cool development projects. If you're interested in videos like this, please like and subscribe. Number 1 is Quarkdown. If you're a fan of LaTeX like I am, you might be interested in the next typesetting system. It was developed by Giorgio Garofalo, and is supposed to have taken the best of both worlds of Markdown and LaTeX the simplicity of Markdown and the versatility of LaTeX. It is capable of everything that LaTeX is capable of without sacrificing the simplicity of the syntax. Some of the demo outputs look really impressive. This comparison table shows a good overview of how it compares to LaTeX and Markdown. And this piece of code shows how simplified the Quarkdown syntax can be compared to that of LaTeX. Generally, LaTeX is my preferred way of making reports and presentations, but I don't do it often because I can feel quite tedious quite quickly. In the next project, I'm keen to give Quarkdown a go to see if it can really be the replacement for LaTeX and Google Doc. Number 2 is Pinsend, a free web app created by Arctan Wolfzia for instantly sharing texts between devices. You don't need no login, no account, no installation or anything like that. He created the app for himself while developing mobile apps after getting tired of sending error logs between mobile and desktop. It's super simple to operate. All you have to do is start typing a message, connect your devices using the QR code, and now your devices are synced in real time. I love seeing effective solutions like this for our problems that a lot of people suffer day to day. Number 3 is 3D Model Playground. It's a really cool open source project built by Alan Eng. In this project, Alan demonstrates controlling 3D objects with voice and hand gestures. Hey guys, just a quick update on this project, letting you know that it's now open source. So you can control the 3D models with hand controls, and you can also use voice. So Jarvis, let's change the scale. Okay, this now lets us use two hands to control the scale of the model. Um, and also you can drag and drop other 3D models into this screen. So I've got another character here, just drag and drop, and there we go. Jarvis, let's rotate. And Jarvis, open the animation menu. So here we can toggle the animations. Jarvis, rotate. I'm so impressed how smooth the voice and hand gestures commands interacts with the app. I think there would be so many cool applications for an app like this, so if you have any ideas, share it down in the comments. Alan has also worked on many other cool projects, which you can check out in his portfolio website in the description below. Number 4 is Plain Vanilla. PlainVanillaWeb.com is a website where you can learn web development using only vanilla techniques with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript meaning no tools, no frameworks, like React. It's a website created by Yuri. He says, Modern web development frameworks are powerful for developing rich, well-structured web applications quickly, and for this reason, worth your time to learn. However, this rich functionality comes at the cost of framework and tooling complexity, and the resulting projects often require regular maintenance to keep secure and up-to-date. The plain vanilla style of web development makes a different choice, trading off a few short-term comforts for long-term benefits like simplicity and being effectively zero maintenance. This is made possible by today's browser landscape which offers excellent web standard support. In the website, he explains about components, styling, making a website, and how to build applications. Note that this is meant for those who are already familiar with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. The sentiment of why Yuri has created this website resonates with me deeply. I think going through this website would make me a better front-end developer by being able to recognize the power of vanilla tools. And I think it will also enable me to recognize when and how to use the frameworks appropriately. Lastly, number 5 is Picture Perfect. I wanted to talk about this really cool game I've come across recently called Picture Perfect. And it's a game by Incredulous Interactive for their submission for Game Jam 2024. And for that year, this game was one of the winners. For Game Jam 2024, the contestants were challenged to make a game around the theme built to scale in just 4 days. 
The studio took its idea very creatively to make a game where you take pictures of someone next to famous sites playing with the scale based on how far or close you are from them. It follows a very sweet story of a young couple as you go around these sites. I love simple and yet effective storytelling games like this, so I just wanted to share with you. Thank you for watching everyone, I've linked everything in the description for you to check out. I've loved finding out about cool websites and tools like the ones you saw in the video and I find them so inspiring. So if you have the same interest, don't hesitate to subscribe as I'll be doing videos like this regularly. But until then, I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone, have a nice day.